Hi, it's Alex from You Should Craft, and today we're going to learn how to make a magic ring or a magic loop. Uh, this is a really flexible way to start a lot of different crochet projects that are in the round. For example, I used it for my cotton face scrubby pattern, as well as these beer koozies. So you just use it to get a really tight hole in the center, and I just use it for any project that's in the round. Um, you really don't need many materials, you'll just need any kind of yarn. I'm using cotton, lily, sugar, and cream yarn. And then you'll just need the hook that matches your yarn. So for me, I'm using a 5 millimeter H hook. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to do is lay your yarn across your fingers. And then wrap it around to form an X. So you can use your thumb to hold that little X in place. But next you're going to put your hook underneath the bottom part of the X, like this strand that's laying right across your fingers. And you're going to hook the loop, or sorry, you're going to hook the hook on that top strand. And then pull it through, you can release it from your top finger. And then now you have this, and that's where you would begin to crochet. So I'll show you that again before we get started with the stitches. But so you lay it across your hand, you wrap it around to make the X. You'll put your hook in the lower part. Whoop, that's getting all messed up. Put your hook in the lower part, and then hook that top strand through and pull it through. So now you have a circle as well as this loop that your hook is on. And so from here you can just start chaining like you would start a regular round or row. So I'm going to chain two for double crochets. And this can count as our first stitch. But you could, again, you can use the magic ring for any project with any stitch. So I'm starting with a chain two for double crochet, but you could use it for a puff stitch or a single crochet. It's totally up to you. So we'll crochet 12 into here. And if you need your loop to be tighter, the magic part about this ring is that you just pull the string and that makes it tighter. So you don't want it to be too tight or your stitches might not fit, but you don't have to have it all floppy there like with your stitches wiggling all over the place. So now we'll just do the magic part of our ring, which is where we just pull the string and our ring will close up. And then from there, you'll just join with a slip stitch like you would with any other project in the round. So you'll put your loop through the top You'll put your hook through the top loop of the first stitch and then join with a slip stitch. So you could just leave this as a teeny circle if you wanted to, or you can crochet on top of it to build any number of projects in the round. And if you look, your magic ring has made this hole in the center super small. Um, if you had done like a chain four and then crocheted into that for the round, your hole would be a lot bigger. So this is super, super cool to use. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to the magic ring. Thanks for watching.